You're watching PTZ Optics Live, a 1080p broadcast available exclusively on YouTube Live every Friday, streaming at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Broadcast quality made affordable. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you know, we live stream every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. I have with me today Scott Whitcomb from Osprey Video. How are you doing, Scott? Hey, Paul. I am doing great. I'm doing great. Good to be here. Calling in from Wisconsin? Yes. Yes, I am. It's kind of cold out there, I hear. <laughs> it's pretty cold. The, sun, uh, the sun's out, I guess, so that's a, that's a good thing. But, yeah, it's definitely cold. Well, I just want to let everyone know that we donate to charity every single Friday. Last year, we donated almost $20,000. Uh, we started off with tw $20, and then for every like you guys do, we get an extra dollar. We're helping children in need who are in the court system and helping them get adoptions and kind of get their way out of the court system. Today, we're interviewing Osprey Video, next week's Stream Monkey. The following week, we're hoping to do a live NDI cloud demo where we have multiple live video productions going over a single um, area. So we're really cool with that. We're excited about that. And then finally, we are going to be giving it away a Wirecast gear. And that's something that I'm super excited about. Um, the Wirecast gear giveaway is something that uh, is a $5,000 value the 24th of February. You can always, you can sign up today and we're doing Bob, why, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm saying Bob, some guy named Bob just joined the Zoom call, I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> Scott, tell us about the giveaway today and guys, you can sign up below the link in this video description. Tell us about what we're giving away today. Yeah, today we have the, our 12G, um, distribution amp as well as one of our I believe um, SDI to HDMI converters and then I think on uh, on Monday we're going to be giving away some mini converters as well so part of our uh, kind of our new strategy or that we're having moving forward is more uh, peripheral type products so they're uh, they're going to be yeah right there the DAs and the converter. So one of each of those today. Nice. Super cool. Thank you so much for doing that because that really makes the show more fun in my opinion. Um, yeah. So everyone seems to really appreciate that. So here we go. You ready for the lightning round? Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, Scott, coffee or tea? I definitely am coffee. Yeah, everyone says coffee to that one. How about um, <laughs> talking or texting? Talking or texting? Uh, I, would say, I would say talking, you know? I mean, texting definitely serves a purpose, but that's good. I'd, I'd prefer to talk. Okay. Uh, Mac or PC? I am on a PC, mostly always. Yeah, me too. I can't say no to that. Uh, iPhone or Android? I have an iPhone. What's your favorite book? Favorite book? Uh, I really like, uh, I like Malcolm Gladwell. Probably, probably Outliers would be my favorite of his books. I yeah, like someone else came on and said The Tipping Point. I really like Malcolm yeah, Gladwell. That's a good um, one too. Yep. Last question. Uh, if you could go back in time to, to visit 24 hours of history and just watch it happen, when and where would you go? Yeah, I, I, I heard this question before, so I thought about it, ah. to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of good, that's a really good question, but I, uh, so one thing that some people know about me, um, I'm a big Minnesota sports fan, uh -huh. so I'd like to go back to uh, 1991 when they, uh, won the World Series, I think. Maybe I would appreciate it more knowing that they haven't won anything since since then. So <laughs> I think that would be one place I'd like to go. Interesting. All right, I'm going to turn your audio up a little bit. I heard that from the, from the chat room. Your audio is a little low, so I'm going to turn you up a little bit so we can hear you for the introduction. Give us an introduction to Osprey Video, 60 seconds. Yeah, okay. So Osprey Video, the capture cards date back to, I want to say, 94, 95. Um, so back, back then they were one of the first 
captured cards on the market, I believe, in the uh, in the streaming industry. Did a lot of really cool things back then. Um, they transformed into ViewCast. Uh, ViewCast had encoders as well as the capture cards. Bless you. And then uh, in 2014, um, a company called Vario Systems bought Osprey Video. We separated into our own our own group. So we're just uh, focusing on just the capture cards at that time. Um, so the last, so it's been three years. In the last three years, we've kind of started to do some pivots in the market and find different products, um, expand on our, on our capture cards. Um, but really uh, kind of an industry leader, I think, for you know, over 20 years, I suppose, in the, uh, the capture card space. Wonderful. Yeah. Let's and tell us what's new in the in the industry. I'm gonna take everybody to your website and kind of guide us through this. Okay. Yeah. So what's new? I mean, we're gonna be introducing a lot of new uh, capture cards this year, um, going into you know 4K and IP and HDMI 2.0 and all, all you know things like that. Um, a lot of those are focused on you know integrators, OEMs, things like that. Um, one thing that we really started to focus on starting, I guess, about a year ago, uh, releasing at NAB, was the, the hardware encoders, um, gotcha. the, Talon, the Talon line, and then the, the DAs and the converters and the switchers and things like that, things that we felt were you know, a, a better fit from a channel product perspective. Um, there's a lot of people that want to live stream now, obviously. Um, you can you can stream high quality video for you know not not as much cost as it used to be. So I think I think the thing that we're really focusing on is you know ease of use, but also professional type features. Um, what we did a lot from you know 2014 up well up until now I suppose even is really get an understanding of where the market's going. So with, from that perspective, we kind of got into the hardware encoding side. Um, Talking to you know numerous customers and in, in numerous uh, industries and verticals from a sales uh, standpoint, we came back to engineering about oh, about eighteen months ago and sort of said we want to do a hardware encoder and we want you know these these ten features and we want to have you know all of those in you know something that's you know this size and that's you know sub two thousand dollars. And our engineering staff pulled it off, um, introduced the talent at NAB last year. Um, it has composite inputs, HDMI inputs, SDI inputs. Um, it passes the closed caption data. It sends out multiple um, streams. So you can send one in and then three out for a, you know, either a multi-bit rate um, scenario or say you want to do you know, YouTube Live and then you want to do a, a UDP on your network and then you want to go out to wow the cloud you can do that or some people said hey we'd like to be able to you know bring in two bring in two feeds at once say it's an hdmi off a laptop and then an sdi from a you know like a ptz optics camera mm -hmm. um we can do that mode as well so there's two there's two modes on the uh on the talon yeah sure and was that the talon you were holding up yeah yeah this is the first generation yeah this is the first generation product. Um, as you can see, it has SDI, HDMI, and composite inputs. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, pretty small. Yeah. So when we, you know, we, we launched it at NAB, which obviously there's a lot of, you know, it's the broadcast show, but now it's almost, I feel like it's turning into the streaming show in a way. Oh, definitely. Kind of from our perspective. So a lot of people said, that's great. It has these features. And we had a, we got a lot of good buzz in the broadcast industry. And then some people came back and said, you know, we, we would like, uh, you know, push button or we don't need SDI or we, you know, we just want a simpler interface or things like that. So we just launched um, the G1H, which is the, yeah, the, that one, the G1H does not have SDI, but it has a push button. Um, start and stop. So basically you set up the, uh, the parameters within the UI. So you have a, say it's a church, we can use that church scenario. You have one, you know, technical person at the church, set it all up, get it to go, 
you know, wherever it's going to go from the outputs, if it's going to go to Wowza, YouTube, wherever, set that up, save that profile. And then Sunday morning at the service, you can have, you know, you can have a 10 year old come in and push yeah. the button in your stream. No. Right? And so, so and it's funny cause we just interviewed, uh, X keys who creates these big red buttons or big green buttons that integrate with wirecast. Yeah. And remix. I think some of our audience was like, what would I need a one red button for? And it's like, I think you'd be surprised how many <laughs> yeah, people want you, a button. Yeah, for to sure. Press. For sure. Space yeah. Age Consulting is asking if you have any USB 3 devices. I'm sure some of your capture cards are USB 3, right? Uh, we, yeah, we're launching a whole, that's a, the new line of USB uh, 3. It's not on our website yet. We're going to, okay. it'll, it'll be, it'll be announced next week, I think, in our NAB preview. Gotcha. Um, we have SDI as well as HDMI coming out. So um, there's going to okay, be okay. So it comes directly HDMI coming out. Okay. Mark, the CEO of the company, has to attend a Whoa. conference. Whoa. <laughs> so we. Um, um, well, let's, let's let's segue into 4K and 12G. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> um, yeah. So. To answer the question, though, yeah, we, we are going to be launching, uh, yeah, keep an eye on the website, we're going to be launching uh, USB capture devices um, very soon. Uh, I just saw them actually, actually in Alice this week, uh, I saw them working, so they're definitely coming soon. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, we talk about the 4K and 12G, the new, um, you know, the new lineup of capture cards. Like I said, that's really where we... Um, I don't know what's a what's a term you know kind of that's where the bread is buttered I guess you could say from our uh, from our product. <laughs> Do people still say that? Is that I don't know. Um, I think yeah, that's our our bread and butter. <laughs> I think is what the term is. <laughs> um, but let's so let's, that's funny. Yes. Yeah, so, so now we're going to be you know so we have SDI now obviously up, up to three G. Mm -hmm. We're seeing four K coming with that. You're going to need some twelve G technology IP. Um, HDMI 2.0, all, all those things. We're going to be adding all that to our uh, to our capture card line. So between capture cards, encoders, peripherals, we have, I want to say, 18 new products on the um, on the roadmap for this year. So it's going to be busy, and it's going to be exciting for sure. Very cool. Well, tell me a little bit about, like you said, NAB turns turning into the streaming show. What is the difference between the live streaming and, and the broadcast <laughs> industry in your mind, and what oh. has changed at NAB? And I want to show where your booth is in a little bit here too, but just okay. tell me, you know, what what are you seeing out there? Gosh, that's a good question. You know, it's. I feel like at one point we used to, or maybe I, maybe I would just try to say this, where it would say, okay, there's there's tr traditional broadcasters, and then there's streaming. I think mm -hmm. that now, you know, I don't know for sure, but I think now, I mean, it's all under one big roof, right? I mean, I think it's, uh, yeah. I think the, the two worlds are definitely colliding. Um, I think that from the hard, it's exciting from, for us from the hardware perspective because it's, you know, the hardware is definitely there. And now I think it's from the, it's a, the monetization of it, the, the standardization of it. That's where the, you know, I think that's where a lot of the broadcasters and the engineers are going to have to, um, we're in, uh, we're in South Upper. Oh, you're in South Upper. Okay. Well, then let me just yeah. really quickly then. So here's Black Magic when you walk right in the door. Um, here is vMix. There's New Tech. Um, and then you keep going. Here's PI Engineering. We had them on the show last week. And unfortunately, we are all the way back. They, we went backwards. Here we are, PTZ Optics right here. We have a 20 by 30. So now yeah. if I go back one and go to south upper, where should I be looking? Uh, we would be, see distribution, delivery, online, video. Yes. I think we're, uh, go down that hall. Uh, let's see. Yeah, keep going a little bit toward the back, just a little bit. I think you should see us coming up here. Such Keep a going. tough show to get a good, a good uh, place in. Uh, there we are. There you are. There oh, are. wow. Look at yeah. that. That's a 30 by 30? Uh, 20 by 20. Oh, 20. I'm zoomed in too much. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah. 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 So we, uh, yeah, we liked it. We were, we were there kind of close to that last year, actually. It was a pretty good spot. There's a lot of good, uh, you know, what I guess you want to call streaming, you know, companies up there as well. So a lot of our OEMs are up there. Um, mm -hmm. 
a lot of our cool. partners are going up, up there. So yeah, it's good. Wow, I, I didn't go up there because it's so busy. We were in the South <laughs> Lower. We were closer yeah. to VMix and New Tech last year. It got so busy, we got pushed back somehow. I don't even know why. But let's talk yeah. about PTZ Optics integration. So we do 1080p60 at this point. And yep. you know, we get asked about 4K, um, but it's definitely not quite a must-have at this point. 1080p60 right. works perfectly with all of your products, correct? You're not just broadcast yeah. frame rates, for example? No, yeah, 1080p60, 3G, yep. You're not pulling yeah. a black magic and saying you could do 1080p60 and only support 59.97? No, 59 <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, good. No, we actually, uh, even on this, on the, on the encoder, we have a mode that, so when we came out, we said, okay, it's two modes. It's one by three and it's two by two. There's obviously, you can't do three 1080p60 streams out of this thing. Um, okay. It just, it, it taxes it. But you can do, you can do three 720, no, no problem. But you can do a, a mode that's just, uh, you know, 1080p one in, one out, send it to, uh, we have an API integration with Wowza Cloud, send it there, and it's just phenomenal quality stream. Um, so if we were doing, yeah, if we did one of your cameras with 1080p60 out, Right into that encoder, right out to uh, to Wowza, and we'd be uh, we'd be sending out a very high quality stream to uh, to the masses. So now, is that like normal for you guys to be, you know, sidestepping the need for Wirecast and VMix and OBS, for example, and just going straight to Wowza? Straight out, yeah. From the from the encoding perspective, definitely. Um, on the capture card side, you know, I think we're. Uh, you know, we're a VMix partner. We're I, th I think we're certified with some of the uh, with Wirecast. Um, I know we work with OBS. Um, you know, really for us, it's direct show. Anything that's anything that's direct show compatible, we're we're compatible with. Um, so we kind of we kind of fit in both sides. Um, we build some base systems as well. That if you want to, you know, have a Windows platform with Windows 10 or even Windows 8 or whatever. Um, you can build, we, we build full on base systems that you can put our capture cards in, load your third party software on, whether it's a vMix or a, or a Wirecast or. Yeah, I want to um, show that because I, I was hoping we would have time to talk about this. This seems genius to me. Um, yeah. Do you have any <laughs> idea what the prices are? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they're roughly, well, it depends what card you put in them, but they're about. Between fifteen hundred and two thousand for all the what? all the components. Even that and rack then, mounted server one with the i seven three point three gigs. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Yep. I, I think mean, we th sell. To me, this is amazing because you know I I don't think a lot of our our, our resellers want to build custom PCs, even though yeah, Linux exactly. is going out there and saying build custom PCs. It's like, what if we don't want to? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are we, we gonna have we to buy a TriCaster or a Wirecast here? It, right. should, it should be an open system, but yeah. so now basically what you're saying here is we could buy one of these and tell you to put the card that we want in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. we wh whatever card you want, we put it in. Um, yeah, now that was that was just what you mentioned. That was a, I mean I couldn't tell you how many times we'd get a phone call that would say, "Hey, I have a I have an eight, I have your eight sixteen card. What do I need for a PC?" And it would just be like. Well, I mean, there's so many, you know, there's so many options. Finally, we said, okay, let's just, let's just figure it out. What is, what is the perfect scenario? So we do that with the, um, the standard based system. And then we have some uh, ruggedized government type applications that, um, and medical applications too, that we have the fanless based system as well. So there's uh, yeah, we have some really, there's some really cool applications for those. Now well. with those you're putting in, and we have to we have to run the credits in a second, and then everyone we're going to do the live giveaway. In fact, let me just grab the live giveaway countdown timer because you guys have just a couple more minutes to to join the the live giveaway. Um, but so, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought here. So you put anything you want in that thing, and then you know you ship it to the customer. It just seems amazing. Yeah, yeah, fully, uh, fully warranty, fully um, um, supported by us. You know, you don't have to, you know, any issues. You call us basically. So yeah, yep. Wow, super cool, guys. We've got about five minutes till we do our giveaway, which we're gonna do in the post show. Osprey video has been so uh, helpful and 
grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful. Those six hundred and ninety-five dollars worth of giveaways in the post show. So stick around, everybody. I'm gonna roll the credits, and then we're gonna answer everybody's questions. Um, so stick around. And that's all, folks. Tune in next Friday on YouTube. And don't miss our new Facebook Live show, airing at the same time on Mondays. Have you joined our new Facebook user group? Stick around for a brief Q&A session where we answer your questions live.